What's good, y'all? It's Main Boxing Biker. Subscribe to the channel so you can get the latest news and the hottest topics that matter. Today, the topic is Danny Garcia versus Sean Porter, man. Sean Football Porter versus Danny No Look Left Hook, <laughs> aka Swift. But, yo, the press conference for this fight is hilarious. First off, Danny popped up wearing a shirt that had damn near every color in the rainbow, man. And Sean Porter had all black on. But had a tie that matches Danny colorful ass shirt. Sean Porter, I thought you was getting better at getting dressed, man. I thought you was, I thought you was getting better at dressing. And now you just look just dumb as hell again. All over again, you look mad stupid, bro. This dude came in there with a, a, a fro. I don't even know who still rock fro's nowadays. I thought this nigga I thought this dude had braids. Some popped up with a fro. Looking wild crazy. Like, Sean Porter just looked like a wild dude, man. Like, he's like, like a savage. There's a dog in, in, the, in the show, uh, in a video game called Crash Bandicoot. There's a certain character that I used to like. I don't remember the dog, but we always used to, like, he had mass spots on his body. We always, look at, we always used to look at him mad funny. And Sean Porter just reminded me of that dog, man. That dog that would just maul the shit out of you for no reason. <laughs> but... <laughs> but they got into an exchange of words, man. They exchange of words and talk, pretty much what we call it. They talking shit, man. Them dudes, them dudes talking shit to each other. So Danny Garcia going in, telling Sean Porter that he's a nobody and I'm more known than you in your own city. And I travel everywhere and people know me everywhere. And Sean Porter's like, you don't travel nowhere. People know you in Philly. You don't ever leave Philly. They repping where they're from and they talking smack. But I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give some props to Ohio because I lived in Ohio for about two years or so. Sean Porter was talking that crap like, yeah, I'm known in Ohio. Everybody knows me. This and that. After Danny Garcia was saying, nobody knows you in Ohio. Ohio rep hard for their teams. Even if you're a low, even if you're a nobody, you're a small time dude coming up or whatever. Ohio rep hard for their team, bro. They rep hard. They don't care who the hell you are. Once you from there and you live there and you repping them, they repping hard for you. Danny Garcia and I rep Philly. And Danny talking that smack. Shao Porter was like, yo, you don't travel nowhere. They don't know you nowhere. They don't know you outside of Philly. He's like, you went to Puerto Rico and they told you to go home. <laughs> and that's funny because it's true. Danny, went to, Danny Garcia went to Puerto Rico. And he fought Mauricio Herrera and got an epic beat down. Let me tell you, he got schooled, bro. I don't know if he didn't train for the fight or what, but he got beat down, was bleeding everywhere. This dude was bleeding, bleeding out of every hole in his face he was bleeding from by Mauricio Herrera. And at the end of the fight, Danny was speaking English, and everybody in Puerto Rico like, we don't talk that shit, man. You better speak some Spanish, bro. Danny can't speak no Spanish because Danny don't know Spanish. So they booed the shit out of him. He got kicked out of Puerto Rico. They told him to get your freaking whatever you are. Get your ass back home. Get Go back to Philly. We don't rep you from Puerto Rico. So Danny will never fight in Puerto Rico again. Just the fact that he can't speak Spanish. Don't even understand Spanish. But... The big fight, what a lot of people are saying, is with Angel Garcia versus Kenny Porter. I'm going to go with Kenny Porter, man. Kenny Porter is in way better shape than uh, Angel Garcia. Kenny Porter is bigger, seems stronger, and also seems younger and more fresh. And he'll, beat the, he'll, he'll pretty much beat the hell out of Danny Garcia, uh, Angel Garcia. So that's the matchup that everyone's saying that they should have since they're both daddy, daddy's boys. Whoever win the fight, their daddy should fight each other after also. That would be an epic matchup, man. Can you imagine that joint? Danny Garcia versus uh, Sean Porter in an actual professional match. And Angel Garcia versus Kenny Porter in a celebrity match. Bro, they'll, they'll, make, they'll all make money. Let Angel Garcia get in there and see what it feels like to be punched in the face for a living. So he can see what his son go through. So he might not be talking that much shit when it comes to other boxers and his son maybe he might chill out for a little bit once he see what it takes to get in there and get beat the freak up for a living you feel me anyways man i was real happy with this with this uh press conference i was i wasn't really paying attention to the fight but now it makes sense and i want to see that both keith thurman leftovers and this is no credit to keith thurman i'm gonna be honest i ain't giving him no props for that i mean he did what he did yeah back then but come back, bro. Come back and do what you got to do. There's other champions waiting to face you. But both of these dudes are against each other. I want to see who's going to come out on top. Obviously, that's who Keith Thurman is going to fight after he um, fight Jose Cito Lopez. Unless Jose Cito Lopez break down. 
Unless he breaky Thurman jaw the way he did Victor Ortiz, I'm just saying. Stuff happens. This is boxing. All it takes is one punch. Osecito Lopez got a wicked left hook. People got to stop playing around with him. But we going to see, though. Main boxing biker. I'm out.